Hey, what's going on, guys? Jay Will here again at Veteran Nerd Review. Getting to give you guys another figure review on the G.I. Joe Classified Series Zero Point Snake Eyes from the Fortnite line or edition, if you want, whatever you want to call it. Um, not a fan of Fortnite, just putting it out there. Did, never played the game, don't plan to, but when I found out that they were having a Snake Eyes version coming out, I felt like this might be something I might want to get. And there's a little bit more background behind why I got this figure, but, but I'll get to that here in a second. For right now, let's go ahead and slide that out of the way. Let's back this guy here up. And before you, I guess, I get started a little bit further, uh, go ahead and subscribe for me if you can. Uh, I'd really appreciate it, and that way you guys will be looped in on any more videos I got coming down the pipeline. And you guys will be looped in as far as the uh, raffle program I'm getting ready to implement here in the future. Probably the next couple of months or so. I'm getting ready to probably do a test run. Maybe in a month or so. And then later on, maybe the middle of the summer, fall time frame, I'll be in full uh, you know, swing. Doing my raffle for you guys to have a chance to win it. And uh, pick up some pretty cool figures. That you might have missed out on for little to nothing. So yeah. And let's go ahead and get back to the video here packaging he comes in he comes with this nice looking Fortnite boxing here the nice little logo right there that could have for you guys a little bit so you guys kind of see the entire frame here but yeah pretty cool looking packaging there so that's what it looks like in the Fortnite game a whole lot going on sides got some artwork of the figure on the back accessories what he comes with and pretty much that's about it. But I did want to show you guys the uh, innards here a little bit. That I thought was pretty cool how they packaged them. This part right here is a sleeve. I'm going to take that part off. And it has kind of like this book effect on the inside. Hold on a sec, just a second. Yeah. He comes with this nice little opening right here with the uh, plastic right there. Everything that he comes with comes right in the little bubble packaging right there. And it closes up, closes up just like that. So it's pretty cool. I like the way they packaged it. Go ahead and put that back away. Come on, there we go. And let's bring this guy a little bit closer. And we can get into some comparisons here in a sec. And so, a little bit of the background, guys. Um, I did have the original release of this mold or this figure, but unfortunately, due to my floor being kind of um, unstable, uh, you might say. Uh, my snake eyes took a nose dive and ended up breaking off a foot. My original right there, so I kind of just like uh, salvaged what I could off of the figure and uh, just kind of just took what I could off of. Him. And I ended up picking up the uh, snake eyes and timber two pack, and what I salvaged off of the broken one, I just put on him. So the sword, the grenades right there, the thigh straps and whatnot. Pretty much everything that was loose that I could get off, I pretty much put on this version of Snake Eyes. But for the comparison shot, these guys look pretty good together. They're about the same height. There's different versions of Snake Eyes and how he dresses. I have this one, of course, armed to the teeth because it comes with so much already. Then I put more stuff on them. So, yeah. And then, of course, let's go ahead and do a quick little other comparison. Let's go ahead and put them next to a Viper. So you guys can see here what it looks like. And put next to one of his buddies here, we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series Heavy Artillery Roadblock. So he is definitely a dwarfed character compared to Roadblock. But not bad. And for Marvel Legends comparison, 16 scale, let's go ahead and put him next to, uh, let's do Marginal Armor War Machine. Keep the color scheme kind of consistent here so I guess this snake guys is kind of on the shorter side I mean just you know real world wise I'd probably say he's maybe around like five six five seven based on how he scales with the rest of these other guys it's probably about six ten to six foot I mean five ten to six foot so he's probably on the shorter side but he does look very well looks very good these Fortnite Fortnite colored uh, grenades those are gonna have to go I'm gonna go ahead and take these off of this snake eyes put on them but he does of course come with a couple of accessories here he comes with his uh pistol that he has in this holster 
is that one molded in there? It looks like it might be molded in there. Unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to take the thigh strap off of the other snake I had to put over here. Because it looks like this gun is molded in and useless. So, yeah, it's gonna, that's pretty much of a bummer right there. But it does come with this uh, Ninja Star throwing hand that takes it on his right hand. I mean, left hand. Comes with this sword, of course. And this sheath for the sword. Take all that off. And then, of course, he comes with all this Fortnite-y, I guess, goodness. I don't want to say crap. But, I mean, maybe you could use it for something else in your display. Like this plunger bomb deal, I guess, with this kind of articulated. This uh, grenade launcher that's also a little bit too cartoony colored. Then these uh, cartoony colored uh, grenades. One's a snowman face, one's like a disco ball. Then a harpoon gun. Submachine gun, I believe, but also um, cartoony styled. They got this uh, cartoony grenade right here, so I think that's it that he comes with. So I'm not going to be able to use any of that, um, but I do, of course, already have plenty of accessories from previous Snake Eyes and, of course, other Valiverse packs and whatnot that I can use for him. But yeah, other than that, pretty cool looking figure. I definitely like the uh, color variation of the pants here. The uh, boots are, they appear to be black, but they also have some green wash in them. So that gives it a nice color variation. I definitely appreciate that. Makes it look more like a military or militant tactical kind of look. As opposed to the original with the uh, kind of like camouflage colored pants, uh, black and gray. So that's pretty cool. And then of course the original head sculpt for the old Snake Eyes had like a black visor. Uh, the head, I don't know where his head is right now, but uh, I believe I was trying to salvage it as well. I definitely have always appreciated Snake Eyes for having the black mask with the silver visor, so that's a nice little upgrade. Who knew that I would be able to redeem myself with a Snake Eyes from Fortnite? So, yeah. But as far as articulation goes, he can look up about that far. Yeah. Pretty good. Looks down that far. Get side to side movement, of course, on the ball joint on the head. The neck, of course, is its own uh, piece, so it is it can move uh, independently of the shoulders and the head. So you get like a good range of a wobble right there on the head. So that's cool. So you get like some head tilt in there, it makes them extra articulated. Shoulders move out to the sides that far, moves down that far, all the way around, bicep swivel, double joint elbows that bend in pretty far. He has a wrist swivel with up and down, well, dice rolling motion on the hands. And the other hand is, of course, dice rolling motion as well. So you get the double pointed effect with guns and uh, swords. I'm probably going to have him use both swords from both Snake Eyes uh, versions. So he can have like two of these when he's on display. Then, of course, he has a bit of a butterfly joint. You don't get a whole lot of movement out of it, but it's there. You get an ab crunch that crunches back very, very far, almost like a full 90 degrees there. It crunches forward pretty far. You get wrist swivel, waist uh, swivel right there. Got kind of a diaphragm joint in there. This piece right here is a loose plastic piece, so you can just slide that up and down. But yeah, you do get like a bit of a diaphragm joint right there at the waist. Legs he got to the sides very far. He can do a full Van Damme split. He kicks forward to the front very far as well. Backwards very far. Forgot to mention about the knife here. I believe it is also molded in. So again the actual weapons that Snake Eyes would use in the real world, a more realistic world, are useless on this figure. I'm going to have to take both of these off and put some more thigh straps on for him to actually be able to use his weapons. But anyway, continuing on, I believe I mentioned upper thigh cut, double joint knees. They bend in very far. I always love that when they can bend in very far. You can touch the uh, back of the calves to the back of the thighs. He has a boot cut as well with ankle pivot and up and down motion of the feet. So yeah, you get a nice little range of motion with this guy, just like the previous edition or the previous version. I think I might go ahead and slide this off now. These weird, weirdly colored grenades. I'm gonna be sneaking through a battlefield somewhere with brightly colored, highlight, highlighter colored grenades on my chest so the enemy can see me from the dark. Anyway, 
But yeah, pretty cool figure. Definitely, I feel like worth the pickup if you are missing a snake eyes from your collection. This guy's a nice upgrade from the original. The original that I am salvaging from because of the broken foot. But yeah, pretty cool figure. Definitely like the uh, design and everything. I believe I got this figure on sale as well from um, Hasbro. So if you guys can come across it for the price of about maybe 25 30 bucks or so, go ahead and pick them up. Definitely feel like worth the value. And maybe if you guys are into Fortnite or whatever, you can definitely find something to do with the uh, weapons he has here. But for the main guy, this right here is pretty much all you really need. You can just customize them how you want after that. But yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate you guys for uh, taking a look at my video. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts. So that way you guys be looped in on any more videos I got coming down the pipeline. And yeah, you guys stay safe out right there. Later.